Welcome to another edition of Brugler's Draft Board here in the BetMGM Casino Studio. This week, Dane, another set of bowl games, so let's talk about another five players. Starting things off with LSU safety Grant Delpit. And Delpit's a guy that very highly touted coming into this year, but it almost seems like his stock has fallen after the season. Is that fair to say or no? Yeah, I think it is fair to say. And this is a chance at redemption for him in this game. When you look at Oklahoma, their spread passing game, their diverse rushing attack, LSU is going to need a strong game out of Delpit. Uh, he won the Jim Thorpe Award as the nation's top defensive back. Uh, but anyone who's watching this year, they know he was probably the third best defensive back on his own team. So it has not been a great year for Grant Delpit. Uh, really bizarre decision to give him the award. But like I said, going into this game, this is a chance at maybe a little bit of redemption. He's the healthiest he's been since October. He's been battling an ankle injury the second half of the schedule. So there's a lot on the line here for Delpit. All right, let's switch defenses here from the LSU defense to the Oklahoma defense linebacker. Kenneth Murray, bit undersized, but it seems that his biggest strength is his sideline to sideline range. Yeah, you nailed it. And if Oklahoma's going to pull the upset, it's really up to Murray to play an important part. Uh, you look at LSU quarterback Joe Burrow. He's been amazing this season. I don't think anybody would dispute that. But I don't think running back Clyde Edwards Hilaire gets enough credit for the contributions he's made to uh, that offense and the way he's affected the win-loss record. Uh, he's averaging 6.5 yards per carry, one of only two FBS running backs with over 50 catches so far this year. And it's up to Murray to fly around the field, limit that LSU ground game, and really force Burrow in the third and long situations. That's the only way Oklahoma is going to be able to beat LSU. And so Murray is, is going to play a big part in that. All right, let's go to the other college football playoff matchup. Ohio State, Clemson. Let's talk about Clemson wide receiver T. Higgins. We've talked about these guys before. CeeDee Lamb, Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs, even LaVisca Chenault. But T. Higgins is somebody that maybe doesn't have the top-end speed as some of the Alabama guys. But if you're looking for somebody that just comes down with the rock, that's T. Higgins. Yeah, exactly. And he, this is going to be one of the real treats of bowl season, uh, seeing Clemson's wide receivers against Ohio State's defensive backs. Uh, and I'm especially excited to watch T. Higgins to see how he can uh, can he uncover against uh, whoever he faces in that Ohio State secondary. They play a lot of press man, cover one, so they leave their corners on an island and just let the best man win. Jeffrey Okuda on the left side, Damon Arnett on the right side, Sean Wade in the slot, and Clemson on offense. They run a lot of three and four receiver sets, and so they're going to move Higgins all over the formation, field side, boundary side, they'll put him in a slot. So we're going to get a chance to see him go up against probably each of Ohio State's talented trio at the cornerback position. And all three are NFL-level guys, so it's going to be a great test for him. Now let's talk about the defense again, but we're going to Michigan. Michigan, Alabama, we've talked about edge for the Wolverines before and Josh Uche. But what have you seen from when we talked about him to now, and where is he in terms of draft potential? Well, look, NFL teams, every NFL team, you know, they're looking for quarterback hunters, and that's exactly what Uche is with his athleticism as a pass rusher. Uh, he leads the team with eight and a half sacks. Uh, and in this game, he's going to be facing the best offensive tackle tandem in college football. Uh, and so I think that, yes, he had a great end of the year, but how he does against left tackle Alex Leatherwood, right tackle Jedrick Wills for Alabama, both those guys are future NFL starters, and we've talked about both before. Leatherwood, he made that guard to tackle transition this year, despite some lower body stiffness, does a great job attacking space, uh, engaging rushers. Wills, he, he's the best offensive tackle I've scouted so far this year. Big, explosive, powerful. So uh, he dominates as a run blocker, rarely gets beaten pass pro. So Uche, does he have uh, you know the necessarily the, the necessary hands, the power that he can get by these guys? And it's not just athleticism, whether it's going up against Leatherwood or Wills on the left or the right side. All right, let's wrap things up in the Big Ten. Let's go to Wisconsin. I think Jets fans are going to be hearing a lot of this guy, Tyler Biotish, because he could potentially be somebody that's linked to the Jets in round one, two. Like, what, what are we talking? What is his projection? And he's an interior lineman, but is he best used at center? Yeah, I think he's definitely a center. And, you know, entering the season, I, the, a lot of evaluators look at him as a, a, a kind of a shot at the first round. But this year, it's been very up and down for him, and I think he needs a strong finish 
between now and April to ensure that he can be a guy that's drafted in the first two rounds. And it's not going to be easy against Oregon, who has a human fire hydrant at nose tackle in Jordan Scott. He's only six foot tall, but he's 330 pounds, plays low to the ground. He's a hard guy to move. And, and for Biedis, he's 6'2", 322 pounds, better run blocker than pass protector. Uh, can he open holes for Jonathan Taylor against an Oregon defense that ranks top 10 in the country against the run? That was another edition of Brugler's Draft Board here in the BetMGM Casino Studio. Dane, real quick, what do you think about the college football playoff? It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna see, uh, you know, for the first time, will we see maybe a number one seeded team uh, go all the way uh, in LSU? We've never seen that in the college football playoff yet. So uh, I think the Ohio State Clemson matchup that's gonna be a lot of fun. Talent versus talent at every position. You have two elite quarterbacks, two big time running backs. Uh, you know, we highlighted the wide receivers versus corners. Uh, it, it's going to be, I, I think, whoever scores first and kind of wins the first quarter and sets a tone, I think that's who's going to end up winning that game. And so I think we're going to see LSU uh, against, uh, I, you know, I, it's hard to pick Clemson or Ohio State, but either way, we're going to get a good matchup.